Hello guys and welcome to a new video which is based on the votes from my latest community post So I'm gonna go through my settings and to avoid making this video too long I'll show you all my settings but I'll only talk about the important ones and the ones that I get asked about a lot Then after that we're gonna watch some intense gameplay to see my fingers in action Let's get started Let's start with the basic settings. First option that I want to talk about is the auto loot. I get a lot of questions on how I'm able to loot fast and this is why. I disabled my auto loot option. Here you can see that looting manually is much faster and that time difference can be a lifesaver because when you're looting you're mostly exposed to enemies so you want to try to loot as fast as possible. Moving on to the most important setting which is the sensitivity. But before you do anything I don't recommend copying other sensitivity. I'm showing it to you guys because you asked for it. Always try to make your own sensitivity. Regarding the rotation mode I get asked why mine is set to speed acceleration and why is it at 300. Speed acceleration depends on how fast you swipe on the screen. Faster swipe means higher rotation. As for the distance it depends on the length of your swipe. And fixed will always stay the same no matter what. Then the acceleration value decides how fast the rotation is, so it's like an extra option to help you optimize your rotation better. And again, this is something you guys need to test and decide for yourself. I tried all of them and honestly it didn't make much difference, but in the end I went with the speed acceleration at 300 value. Another important setting here is the third person sensitivity. I mean most sensitivity settings are important, but this one is more important. It's basically the hipfire sensitivity, so if you use hipfire a lot like me, then you need to spend some time finding the perfect third person sensitivity. Make sure you're able to track your enemy movement easily. If you think your hipfire aim movement is slow then increase the sensitivity and if it's too fast then decrease it. Keep doing that until you find your perfect hipfire sensitivity. And finally we have the HUD layout which is another thing you guys need to build on your own. You can copy layouts from other players but try to switch buttons to fit your playstyle. Because you know we play on different devices with different number of fingers. So guys honestly if you're serious about improving your skills then you need to spend some time testing and practicing. You can't be good just overnight and don't expect instant results. For me it took around 6 months to become decent in mobile shooting games. But anyway a question I get a lot regarding my HUD is why my shooting buttons are on top of each other. That's because I set my shooting mode to hip fire, so it doesn't matter which one I press. My gun will always shoot in hip fire mode. And whenever I want to ADS, I just use the scope button manually. Another important thing you need to change is the opacity of your buttons. Once you find the perfect hard layout and once your brain is used to it, and that's when you start pressing the buttons without looking at them. Then reduce the opacity to zero and make them transparent. This will grant you a better vision over your surroundings and it will allow you to spot enemies much easier. I think that was everything regarding my settings. Now we'll move to the handcam gameplay which had a crazy start at farm. I know I mentioned this already but farm now is on fire. Also you will notice that I made all my buttons visible that's only for the sake of this video to show you guys what I'm pressing and you have no idea how annoying and distracting that was for me but I made it through. Another thing worth mentioning is how I play. This might sound dumb but the way you play affects your skill. Find the best position for yourself. Some players like to play laying down, others on a chair. Me, I like to play on my bed like this. This is Zara Code Try Hard Mode Activate Position. One last thing, I'm sure you guys will love the ending. It was risky, but it was also worth it. Sorry for talking too much. Let's get this game started.
I'm sure you guys noticed that I move my device a lot when I shoot at the enemy and it was one of the reasons why I struggled to record a hand cam. I normally move a lot more than this but I had to try to move less to keep it in the camera range. I have no control over it and it became a habit. It may look like I'm using gyroscope but I don't. I actually tried using it before but it didn't work well for me. It's mostly good for mobile phones. What he's doing?
I hope you guys found this useful and I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.